Today I would like to tell you the story of a very special place at Stanford. This place started as a parking lot, as you can see here. And through the years, the only thing that changed was maybe the number of cars that dwindled during the summer, but increased back again as classes started again. However, in 2017, we can see a big change starting to go in this parking lot. And by the end of this year, the foundation was already completed for this construction project. The next year, the structure and the architecture were almost completed. And here we can see a finalized version of this building. If you have not guessed it by now, this building is Denny House. My name is Cesar Porto Carrero. I'm a scholar from the 2022 cohort. I study a master's in civil engineering. And today I would like uh, to tell you a little about uh, the story behind Denny House, its concept and its structure. So it's very interesting to talk about the concept behind Denny House because it boils down to a very simple sketch. However, you might not believe this, but every single idea behind Denny House is present in this sketch. As the lead architect says, we thought of Denny House like a tree house, a special retreat hidden away in the trees, but actually very much at the center of campus and campus life. And we can see in this other sketch how these ideas are there. For example, we can see how Denny House is in the middle of many trees, but it does not try to distinguish itself from the trees, but actually merge with them, be one with nature. Further, we can see the arrows which highlight this concept of being in the center of campus. We can see how Denny House is connected both to all the buildings at Stanford, but it also invites its occupants to look outside and experience both nature and Lake Lagunita. Architecture and concepts are important, but for buildings, the structure and the engineering are also a key part. As we can see here, the structure of Denny House is very complex. It involves many structural elements that together make Denny House. We can take a deeper dive and look at the actual structural drawings. It might look challenging, complex, and maybe daunting at first if you're not used to seeing construction drawings, but let's focus on only one part of Denny House. Here we can see four main columns labeled as C2. Usually for structural engineers, columns are made to withstand structural loads and earthquake loads. But in the case of Denny House, they fulfill many other purposes. For example, from an architectural point of view, the columns actually help with the concept itself behind Denny House. We can see how the columns try to imitate the look and the symbolism from the trees thereby integrating Denny House into nature. Further, the columns and the other elements themselves provide shading both to the inside and outside of Denny House. With the trees, they help provide natural shading to the occupants and thereby reducing the need for artificial shading, making Denny House more sustainable. All in all, today we have explored both the concept and the structure behind Denny House. There are many more things we can say about this incredible building but as any architect or engineer would say, the best way to discover a building is by experiencing it yourself. So I would like to invite you to go around any house and make sure to take a look at how every element was designed and created, not only for the comfort of the occupants, but also to foster a very special community. Thank you.